Jesus. Uh-oh. Hello, Bob. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Would you like a quick chat before I... Uh, no, thank no, you. Thank you. That's a relief, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see what we got here, then. Alex, me old pal. Balance Alex. You have ten minutes to place your counterweights on your end of the seesaw. You may not use humans to balance Alex. Most balanced Alex wins. All right, Alex, will you get onto the seesaw for me? No, not till... not till... not till you've finished. Not till I've finished. Oh, so I've just got to guess how much you weigh. OK. All right. <laughs> Let me ask you how heavy you are. Well, uh, according to CelebritySizes.com, I'm about the same as Russell Crowe weighed in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 14 stones. OK. Like Russell. Like Russell Crowe. And we're going to start with Mark. This is his attempt. I'm going to make a crude guess at your weight by picking you up. Is that all right? Am I yes. Allowed? OK. I won't be able to pick you up because I'm not very strong, but there we go. So you're quite heavy. So that... Not that heavy. Do you know how many kilograms you weigh? Yes. Cool. I think this is not a bad starting point. Ah. Football, I think... I think if we stick this in, that should be almost exactly your weight, but... I'm trying to imagine... Ten seconds, Mark. Oh. Thanks, mate. Thank you, Mark. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I can already think of a better way to approach it, but um, life's about learning, isn't it? Thank you, Mark. Mark put a microwave in. When, when you're trying to lift uh, 2013 Russell Crowe off the ground? <laughs> Realistically, he's got to be 75 microwaves. <laughs> well, thank, thank goodness you could go to your second option, which was a bunch of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see Sally and Nish? Yes, I do, please. OK. Can I, can I just have a yeah, go? Don't be coy. <laughs> just for fun. Oh, my God! In a good way? Yeah, in a good way. To the shed! <laughs> A bag of sand. <laughs> Still not enough weight. <laughs> I see. Decoration. I see. <laughs> I think that's about right. You think I weigh a tire, a, a roller, roller, plastic banana, two lemons and a fire extinguisher, two lemons and a fire extinguisher, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You done? I'm done. Thank you, Nish. Nice to see two people using their brains. Uh, roller, nice heavy thing. Yeah. Next up, Bob. And we see somebody who is using physics to his advantage. Here we go. It's kind of the basic caveman approach. I don't know if there's some science involved. Can I move this? I think that will balance Alex. <laughs> Did you always know you were going to use physics? Because when you brought that plinth out, you were handling it with some ease, so you obviously knew that that wasn't Alex. No, I did, it was the only thing I saw. You know, it had that vaguely human shape, so I thought that was a starting point. And then I saw the things underneath the swing. Mm -hmm. And you knew that that was part of it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I do, Bob, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I won't say whether or not it worked, but it was the right idea. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't seen Ashling B, so we're no. going to see her different approach right now. Let me just give a feel of you, just to test. Oh, Jesus! God, you're heavy, Alex. Thank you. Oh, my God! We're going to have to think outside the box here, Alex. I'll be back in a minute. I'm back off to the shed. I'm actually going to harness the box down. So what I'm doing is I'm tying... Does anyone here have a car? I've got a car. OK, can you get your car? Right down, keep coming. So I'll need a bit more slack from you, Alex. Straight back, straight back. Keep reversing. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done. Stop the clock. 
Thank you, Rushling. You're welcome, Alex. Pretty sweet idea, I'd yeah. say. Mm -hmm. It's not cheating as far as I'm concerned. Where did you trap the rope? How, how... We tied it around the middle part, twixt two windows. Because the strongest part of a car is famously the window, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to see now, Alex? Well, we'll see how these four got on first. So I got on the other end after they'd left. And uh, <laughs> we'll see if any of them could balance the bandana guy. Here we go. <laughs> Ecstatic. <laughs> I thought the bandana guy was going to get extremely hurt. <laughs> um, did I do fine in that? You yeah. did fine. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the results. So Mark, <laughs> Mark put three stone in the other half, 20% of me, <laughs> the equivalent of my biceps and stomach muscles, which are small. <laughs> Bob, I, it was the right idea, but unfortunately you would have had to have put it back by about another three metres. Uh, so you only actually put 32 kilograms weight on that side. But I weigh 89 kilograms, that was just over a third this time. Um, Sally, not too bad, eight stone. 80 stone, 56% of me, all my blood, liquid and lymph system. <laughs> <laughs> but Nish, you did pretty well. Oh, that's never been said on the entire show, has it? No, first time for everything. You managed to balance my chest, back, abdomen and head. 70% of me with 10 stone on the other Whoa. side. So Whoa. it wasn't balanced, but it was pretty good. Oh, wow! Yeah. So, Ashling attached me to a 220-stone Ford C-Max. <laughs> <laughs> it went like this. What I couldn't do was weigh what Ashling put on the other end, so it's up to you to judge how you think she did. Well, I think that you have to give credit for technique sometimes. Mm. Here we go, ready? Mark's in last place. Mark, one point. Bob, two points. You were going to give points for technique, but not yet, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Ashling, great technique. Uh, horrific, stretchy uh, washing line outcome. All right, that all is right, often how I'm described in bed. <laughs> <laughs> It felt like Sally came very close to a balance, but unbelievably, Nish Kumar comes first. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Nish. Yeah. Yeah. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs>